Enter the Stars, Toilet Paper Gate, How Trump is Wiping His Bleep on America. This is Charles Koch. This is his brother, David Koch. And their dad was a billionaire, the billionaire Fred Koch. The Koch family makes most of the toilet paper that you don't see stocked on the shelves in the supermarket amidst all of the other well-stocked food and supplies on the shelves. Something weird is going on. Why is there this run on the toilet paper? Well, I think we have the answer. You see, lots of people in Trump's cabinet are friends with the Koch family. The president's cabinet remains a who's who of Koch affiliates. Their nearly $900 million budget for the 2016 election seems to have had the desired effect. From Kellyanne Conway to a long-held loyal relationship between Pence and the Koch's, which dates back to his time as Indiana congressman in the early 2000s. Then we have Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, formerly nicknamed the Congressman from Koch. Pompeo is a member of the Wichita, Kansas business community, the Koch's home base. He made the jump into politics thanks almost entirely to the Koch's support. He has in fact received more money from the brothers than any other single individual. Pompeo has shown his gratitude toward his donors by favoring environmental deregulation on energy production and by defending his benefactors in the public arena, including an op-ed unsubtly titled, Stop Harassing the Koch Brothers. Then there's Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross. The billionaire investor was a close personal friend of David Koch. He was photographed with the late financier and pet of Jeffrey Epstein at a dinner party at his home in 2010. Koch was among Epstein's personal friends. Ross and his wife later attended Koch's 2016 holiday party. And then there's Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chow. Chow is the wife of Senate Leader Mitch McConnell and a regular guest at Koch's donor events. As Secretary of Labor under U.S. President George W. Bush, Chow spoke at the 2002 annual meeting of the American Legislative Exchange Council. Koch Industries is a longtime member of Alex's corporate board. She was also a fellow of the Heritage Foundation, a think tank closely tied to the Koch brothers' political ambitions. And finally, Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos. Trump appointed the billionaire and charter school advocate as education secretary in 2017. Her family has close ties to the Koch brothers' political fundraising, donating millions in 2016 to super PACs, including the Koch-backed Freedom Partners Action Fund. Devos is a regular attendee at the Koch's biannual donor meeting and is a financial backer of Koch-affiliated groups such as Americas for Prosperity and the George Mason University-based Mercatus Institute. In October 2018, the Education Secretary met privately with members of the Koch-funded group Youth Entrepreneurs at a Koch Industries office in Wichita, Kansas. I guess you could call these cabinet appointments special interests. And the Koch's getting richer on the recent toilet paper gate PSYOP a favor. Take care and be safe, you guys.